The most horrific British psychopathic killers of the 20th century. Two children as young as 10 years old. When they first met the boy, they just wanted to help him find his mom. Then they got impatient, and they took the boy to the reservoir. Robert lifted the boy up and dropped him hard on the ground. That's when the head injury was inflicted. The boy cried terribly. They ran away in a hurry. They felt bad afterwards. They turned around and came back. They dragged the boy through the alley. The sky was dark and there were few pedestrians on the road. Robert talks about his own brother. He said he had hated him since he was a child. After that, he grabbed the boy and took him to an abandoned factory. Robert threw paint in the boy's face. Then he led the boy to the railroad tracks and started throwing bricks at him. Robert threw about a down scene of them. John threw five or six. The boy was covered in blood and was lying on the ground dying. Then they picked up iron and a stick and hit the boy on the head. On one side, the boy screamed in pain. On the other hand, the perpetrators were laughing afterwards.